What's up you guys? Mike Sykes back here with another video. This time I'm going to be showing you how to take your Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, hook it up to your smart TV, my Samsung 82 inch, and guess what? I'm going to show you step by step how to take this little baby and hook it up to that big boy and you're going to be able to do this wirelessly and I'm going to show you all those steps right here baby. Let's roll! Now, before we get into this whole thing, let me tell you a few things about DeX. You see, DeX is a software in its own developed by Samsung. And the thing about this is that you're gonna be able to take this little smartphone and put it onto that big screen TV back there, almost as if you have a computer. And the desktop and the interface that's on this smartphone is the same type of interface that you'd have if you had a PC computer. So basically what you're doing is that you're wirelessly transmitting all of that data onto your smart TV and you'll be able to view it instead of viewing it on this little screen, you'll be able to view it on a big screen TV and it's almost like you have a big screen computer. But anyway, this is what we're gonna do. First step you gotta do, take your smartphone, pull it out. Okay, so while you're busy trying to get your Samsung Galaxy, I'm gonna give you some reasons why DeX is so important and why you need to keep watching this video tutorial. First up, DeX is the future of mobile computing and you wanna know why? That's because now you'll be able to wirelessly connect a Bluetooth keyboard, Bluetooth mouse to your Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, but guess what? If you don't have any of those peripheral devices or if you simply just can't use those, you'll be able to use the built-in trackpad on your Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and then control the mouse pointer on your big screen TV just like you would on an ordinary computer. Now, how's that? So let's get set up with wireless decks and take this step by step. First up, go find that TV remote and get into your wireless network settings. And if your TV is unable to connect to Wi-Fi or your model is not in the list that I have in my description, then you might need to get smart and throw that thing out the window. But just to give you an example of how you can connect your TV to Wi-Fi. You see at the bottom left, I can go to my cogwheels where it says settings. And if I select that, then another window will open up. And you see on the third one down, that little wrench tool with the word general right next to it? Well, that's what you need to click on to get to your network settings. Let's move on to step number two, connecting your smartphone to your Wi-Fi. Now, this is a very important step too, because both the Wi-Fi on your smartphone and your TV have to match. If they don't, then you just might have a problem connecting to decks and then you'll have to pull all the hair out of your head just like I did. But if you really want to pull something, go ahead and pull down your screen twice and then flip it over to the left. Now you're going to see decks right there. You're already connected to Wi-Fi so now all you have to do is to turn decks on by pressing it and almost immediately decks is going to start looking for every smart TV in the area including your next door neighbors. <laughs> I'm going to laugh at him next time I see him. I did not know he had a Roku TV. <laughs> but you can go ahead and get any TV you want. Promise. I won't laugh at you. Another way you can activate DEX is simply by going to your settings. Look for advanced features. Once you touch on advanced features, then you will see Samsung DEX is showing you whether it's on or off. You see, mine's currently off right now. I'm going to prove that because I just touched on it. And if you could see that, it's telling you that you can connect wirelessly to your TV or PC, or if you have wired connection, HDMI or USB. And tapping that little button on the right just got me into my Samsung TV. And as you can see, all I need to do is hit the start now button and I can go ahead and connect to my Samsung TV here. And look, <laughs> my neighbor's Roku TV just came up. I'm still laughing. <laughs> and you probably didn't notice that I had already gone past my Samsung DeX welcome screen because this was a previous setup. See, I had already been connected to my TV. I just wanted to show you two methods of how you connect, but in a few minutes, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you get into DeX, get past the welcome screen, and hook everything up so that way you are running strong, baby. You got me? So you can see now that I got my TV on, right? I'm gonna check my network settings to make sure that I'm on the right settings. And oops, guess what I just thought about? Your connection speed, 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz. Which one should you use? Do you know? Well, I know that's gonna be a question popping up, right? So don't worry about it, because I already got your back on this one. And I tested both frequencies, 2.4 and five gigahertz, and I did not have a connection issue, and they both connected very quickly. And if you guys wanna have my back now, well, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button, because you guys already know I'm gonna have some more videos coming for you, right? So now that we've got all of the setup procedures out of the way, let's go ahead and do the basic connection. Go to your settings and turn DEX on. You should already know how to do that, right? Because I gave you two methods on that one. 
Select the choice that says Dex on TV or monitor so it can search for the closest smart TVs in your proximity. Once you've selected your model TV, you'll see on the top right of your smart TV that a message will appear asking you to allow permission for Dex. Hey, listen, you got a smart TV, right? So be smart. Don't hit deny or close. Use that remote and choose allow. Now check this out. I just got a could not connect to my Samsung TV on my smartphone. And if you got that message, well, it might be because you waited too long to pull that trigger. But don't worry, you can go ahead and try this again. But just keep in mind when that message pops up on the top right side of your screen, you got to move quick and you can watch 90 Day Fiance later. So I'm going to select my model TV and hit that start now button on the bottom right. And that will take you into the Samsung DeX welcome screen. Now there are a couple of things here that you might want to pay attention to, right? I won't read it now, but you can read it later. And concisely, they just want to tell you some things about the temperature changes in your device when you're using DeX, you know, stuff like that. But the most important thing is that I hit that orange start button at the very bottom. And guess what? My Samsung DeX is starting up on my smart TV and the interface is already up too. And at the same time, my smartphone is giving me an option that I'll be able to open up my touchpad. And all you have to do is to touch OK. But before you do that, pay attention to what it just said. At the bottom left of your smartphone, you're going to be able to see that there's a little touchpad icon. Now, just simply choosing OK here is not going to activate the mouse pointer. What you have to do is go down to the very bottom left and select the little touchpad icon. Just touch on it. And that will activate the on-screen touchpad on your Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now, pay attention. There is no visible mouse pointer on my smart TV, but that won't appear until I actually touch the screen. Do you see what I just did? And I'm also giving you a clue on the latency of the movements, right? And if you don't know what latency is, well, that is the lag or the delay, or should I say the responsiveness of the mouse pointer as you move it on your touchpad. Now, there are some contributing factors to this scientific equation. <laughs> you like the way I said that, right? Connection speed, distance, screen size of your smart TV, refresh rate, temperature, and more will determine the results of your responsiveness. And just so you know, this is not an infrared remote, so you do not have to point this at your smart TV. And here's something else that you need to know. If you go back to your home screen on your smartphone, notice that DeX is still on my smart TV because they run independently, meaning that you can be working on DeX and also using your smartphone for some other application. Now, if you don't believe what I'm telling you, then I'm going to go ahead and show you. So do you see how I'm selecting a game that I just downloaded and it's independent from the screen on my smart TV? Well, guess what? If I flip this baby around and I can go ahead and start playing this game right now on my smartphone, but you don't see it on my smart TV, do you? And the coolest thing about this is that even though I'm playing this game on my smartphone, I can hear the audio of the cars driving on my big screen TV, my Samsung 82 inch. And this is also exciting, but I think I'd prefer to watch this whole thing on my big screen TV, don't you? So here's what you gotta do. Go ahead and open up your touchpad. You already know how to do that, right? And then from here, what you want to do is open up the game within Dex on your smart TV and move your mouse pointer all the way to the bottom left where you see the little settings icon, right? Go ahead and touch it. Once you tap on your screen, then it's going to open up all of the applications that are currently on your S22 Ultra right now. And you should know exactly what to do here just simply by touching on your touchpad and moving the mouse over to the application that you want to open. In this case, it's going to be that game, right? But before we do that, let's get into a quick tutorial on the touchpad gestures for your Samsung DeX. Now, this whole thing can go pretty smooth if you just understand what you're doing. See, the top one is to double tap to rotate your screen. The next one down is to double tap if you want to know about the touchpad gestures. And the double tap on the last one, the little X, is if you just want to close the whole touchpad completely. Now, let's go ahead and double tap to move our screen and rotate it. Did you see how it just flipped? Don't you think that you need to have that whenever it is you're serious about playing those games? Well, just think about how serious it would be if you didn't know how to do this. So let's learn this together because I promise you, I didn't know how to do all this stuff. First of all, if you just tap on the screen one time, that's going to allow you to select an object. If you tap on it with two fingers, that's kind of like a right click button on your mouse. You got that? Moving two fingers across the pad will allow you to scroll in any direction. Pinching with two fingers, man, I don't think anybody on this planet doesn't know what that does for zooming. Touching and holding means that you can select an object, but when you touch and hold and then move, then that object is going to move around the screen. You got me? Tapping with three fingers. Now, I did not know that would allow you to move something back. And the same thing with tapping with four fingers. And I made you guys go all the way to the bottom corner. You could have just tapped four fingers to pull up the app screen. Swiping down with three fingers allows you to view recents or your home screen. And the last one, when you swipe left to right with three fingers, that will switch between apps. And now that I've shown you some very cool features on that touchpad, let's go 
ahead and open up that game that I was trying to play, right? And as you can see, I've already got it open on my Samsung Smart TV. And don't worry, just because that little window seems small, that doesn't mean that we can't blow it up, right? I'm going to show you how to do it, and you'll be surprised at how clear the image is. What you have to do is go to the very top of that window, and you see the little expand arrows right there? Well, when you click on it, the app is going to restart in full screen mode, and you're going to be surprised at how it looks. It's super clear. I'm looking at it right now, baby. And so are you. And just so I can give you an accurate evaluation of what it's like to use Dex, well, I can honestly tell you that using it with my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra was very easy and intuitive. Connecting to my Wi-Fi and also getting everything set up was a piece of cake. I didn't have any issues other than the fact that I waited too long to hit that allow button. You remember that? The touchpad and the mouse pointer felt really good despite the fact that there was some latency and lag. Now, I'm going to have to figure out two things, how to get around that latency and lag, and also how do I increase the mouse pointer speed as I'm moving it with my fingers across the touchpad. Now, I'm going to try to figure that out, but if you guys have an answer for that, leave a comment below as well as anything else that might be helpful for us to facilitate the process of making this thing easy, fast, efficient, and what's the word? Fun. So with that, you guys, I got a lot more tutorials coming. Okay, promise you that camera one's coming up. You guys better stay locked on this channel, baby. Hope you got something out of this Dex video. I'm out. All right, you guys, thank you so much for letting me do this video for you. Hey, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Beast of a smartphone, isn't it? I love it so much, right? So do you. I know that because you're watching this video. And I'm going to have some more tutorials coming for you, okay? You guys better stay locked. Next week, I'm going to have all the features on the camera system, so you better stay tuned, right? Got more coming for you. Until then, what we always say, baby, you live every day. You guys, don't forget to shoot me a comment. Laugh beyond words, right? Hit that like button. And learn, baby. Subscribe. Peace. I'll see you guys on the next one.